Spend just a little while on nearly any part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail and you'll encounter bikers, runners and walkers like these guys. Well, when you get a little bit farther down the trail, some of these, some of these little trail sections, uh, they're real wooded. There's nothing around it. And since an assault on the trail last week, you're likely to see some of these guys too. Greenville police have upped patrols on the trail in light of the attack. However, many people still take safety into their own hands. I try to stay aware of my surroundings while I'm out here. Um, and when people pass me by, I'm always looking over my shoulder. This pair making sure they never walk alone and don't get distracted by phones or music. That gives a moment for someone to attack you if they're going to do it. How to identify sections. Those helping to develop the new section of the trail say they're building safety into their plans. What makes them safer are frequent access and population that's using it. Craig Lewis is a consultant on the project and says when more people use the trail, it makes it safer. You get people in a close proximity. They help to generate demand for fun things to go to. Um, and they also help to self-police the area. So they're designing more access points and amenities along the way. But he says incidents like last week's are rare. Generally speaking, urban trails are incredibly safe. Even so, one attack is enough to put some trail users on edge. You know, it really made me think about, hey, who's out here? Where can I go? What can I do if something like that was to happen to me? And as he mentioned, trail users who frequent this path say it's just that one incident that heightens their sense of awareness. Now, some of them are also asking if cameras could be an option along the trail, but a county spokesperson tells me that those have never been a viable option here. I'm reporting live in Greenville, Ayla Ferron, 7 News.